right, I bought one of these uh, manual bead breakers from Harbor Freight because I had a uh, bead buster, whatever it was, 450. I made a video about it uh, not too long ago and it's great for taking um, tires off rims. This one right here, I had to break out the angle grinder and cut and it's a pain because uh, my bead breaker, the tool I had, broke on me. Um, and I don't want to have to use an angle grinder on this one. So looked online and uh, Harbor Freight had this one for a hundred bucks, which the bead breaker is probably around the same price, probably a little more. Um, but this one says it handles up to 42 inch rims. I mean, this is supposed to be like heavy duty compared to the bead breaker isn't supposed the one, the model I had at least wasn't super heavy duty. This one is supposed to go from ATV all the way up to heavy agricultural tires, like tractors, things like that. So let's open this one up and see what it's all about. So one thing I noticed at the store, cause they have, um, you know, they always have it on display. This thing is a lot bigger, and a lot heavier, a lot more heavier dutier. I would really say that heavy dutier. So here it is, Maddox. That's like Harbor Freight's brand of things. I've had a couple other Maddox products. But right off the bat, this thing is like probably four times as heavy as the other one. This is a lot more heavy duty. Um, what happened on my last one is basically this section, uh, the bolt stripped. You know, it just uh, didn't, couldn't hold up after time. I used it for, I don't know, probably 10 rims total, maybe something like that. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how, let's see how this one does at removing the tire off this uh, ATV rim. This part right here will go in. So you want to get this part, grabs, and then hopefully it should allow you to get this in. We might have to help this out a little bit. You tighten this, and these teeth are supposed to go in between. Soap, water. Um, I use this for putting tires back on, but in this case, hopefully it'll help these teeth kind of slide in where they're supposed to. So here we are, as you can see. We are just about level, flush. These are in here. You might want to just do a quick tap to make sure it's secure. You don't want to keep popping off. It's pretty secure. I wouldn't go too much further in here. This is an aluminum rim. Wouldn't want to bend that. So you can see it good. I mean, anyone who's tried to take a tire off a rim knows how tricky this can be. So here, and honestly, this is probably one of the harder tires it'll be because it's so small. So then we tighten this one. Once the bottom one's secure, we tighten this down. And what it does is that middle tooth pushes that down and keeps these stationary. You gotta be careful. You should wear safety glass when you do this because this thing could pop off and really cause some damage. So far, so good. Not off the beads, not off the rim yet, but it's making progress. And you want to just keep an eye on this too, make sure it's not leaning too far back or forward. And sometimes you do one section and you gotta move it over to another section. Oh, it just got loose. It's going in a lot smoother now. That tells me that, uh, yep, 
There you go. Get that off. And then this is pretty simple. As you can see, it wasn't too hard to use this thing to get the uh, ETB tire off the rim. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good little tool. It's uh, very rugged, it's very thick. Um, I hope it holds up and lasts. I was bashing it right here to set it in place. Once you get the hang of it, you might not have to bash it as much. Um, but yeah, this Maddox uh, Harbor Freight is so far better than the bead buster or whatever the hell it is bead breaker um this thing is is cool so yeah i would uh give it a thumbs up it's uh, 99 bucks right now at harbor freight i don't think i got coupons for it or whatever i think 99 bucks is a little expensive for what it is but if you've ever needed to get a tire off of a rim and you've tried using a car jack and putting the tire on the ground and then jack and the jack up on it it's it's there's a million things you can do it's a pain this makes it so much easier get yourself one of these keep it and then you will be very thankful the day you actually need it all right so the review portion of the video is over now comes the fun part which is taking the tire off um, I have to basically wedge this over and then um, usually it's easy after that. Again, every rim is different. Sometimes uh, they can be tricked. Some can be trickier than others. But let's see. I have uh, this Motion Pro kit I bought at my like local uh, dirt bike store. It was um, $30.99, 30 bucks. These, these uh, I think they call them like... Uh, wheel spoons or whatever you get the big get the medium and then you get the smaller sometimes you actually do need to use all three for the most part i just use two but um yeah let's see uh i actually used this one to stir paint you can see this paint on it so that was dual purpose dual use um so yeah this is something that you want to use the Soapy water for just straight in. It just makes it easier. Even going back on to soapy water, not gonna hurt it. Um, so you know this is banned for different applications, but it's uh the, there we go. Right. So we got we got one end. So we're gonna take the medium one, come over a little bit. Sometimes you can go really far over, and this one probably can't. Okay, now we're here. Sometimes you can slip this one out and it doesn't go too far back in. Sometimes it does, so that's why you need the third one. See, this is, it's just moving on me. So, all right, we got this big one here. I mean, maybe, all right, so let's see. You just gotta get it right on the lip of the tire. Okay, be careful when you're doing this too, these things can fly out in the face. We got two on. Okay, now we got three in. Alright, so, there we go. And voila. Simple enough. And then sometimes to get the other side of the tire out the room. Literally, you just, it just like pulls right out. Like you'd be surprised as to how easy this one comes out. It's, tool might give us a little bit of a hand. Okay, you just gotta be careful. So, we use the tool.
once the rope has it, sort of it. So when that happens, it's, it's, it's really, really cool. Usually, when this isn't being filmed, there's like a little bit of swearing involved. Um, but, uh, so for something like this, I'd like to try and use just this toolkit. point now where we can see boom boom you just work your way a little bit and then boom not too difficult we have success now obviously comes another fun part which is putting the new tire on to the rim this can be tricky and uh, when you're doing this I like to soap up feed, plop this down like this. This should literally slide in. Um, let's use a little, little help from the tool. Wedge her in a little bit. Usually once more than halfway in it pops right in. Okay, flip the tire over. Work on this side. Snake eating its own tail. tires before like this. If you can imagine how fun this is. Um, it can be tricky doing this by hand. But again, some tires are much easier than others. And I bet people out there will comment and uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong and how to do this easier. And, they can do this in two seconds, but as you can see, we've got more than 50% on, so now this this one can come out. All right, so we should be just able to, there we go, we got that on. Um, now the next step is to seat the bead. What I usually do in this situation is before, back in the day, I would just spray ether in the inside, throw like a, a little bit of fire in there, take a long stick, light it, and the thing just inflates by itself and seats the bead. That is not safe, so we're gonna try and um, use the strap method. We'll be strap the outside, and that'll bring both beads close to the edges. Yeah, for the most part, just any old ratchet strap should, should do the trick. And we tighten. And as we tighten, it should hopefully bring the edges closer. Uh, this is kind of tricky. A lot of gaps. This tire is tight. Okay, hit this on there. Let's see. We'll set this to like 30 psi. This might be kind of tricky. To do this at home, we might have to bring it to a shop. Or in the daytime outside, we might have to do fire in the hall, which I don't suggest anyone does. It's very dangerous. I've had a tire explode one time doing it. I 
really hate to quit. So we have a more heavy duty strap right here. It's a lot thicker, a lot wider. Um, let's put this on and see if maybe we get a little, a little further along with this one. All right, so thicker strap definitely uh, is a little better. Is it enough to seat the bead? Probably not, but worth a shot. All the straps in the world are not gonna help me seat that bead. Uh, it's a very tough tire, very tough tire to seat. So we might have to pause this until tomorrow and in the daytime, just uh, give the old fire in the hole a shot. All right, we're gonna do fire in the hole. You need glasses. Um, and I don't recommend anyone trying this uh, for the first time. They haven't done it before. Don't do it unless someone who's done it before is around, blah, blah, blah. But uh, what you need is a can of brake fluid, ether, a uh, lighter, safe place to set this up at. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some ether inside the rim, and then from afar, maybe with that long stick, we'll light that stick on fire, add flame to this, and hopefully it'll, uh, seat the bead. So let's give it a shot. And uh, tell me that didn't seat the bead. good bead seated on there nicely uh, just guys still do the other tire but that's how you seat the bead with fire in the hole again very dangerous don't do it unless uh, you have experience doing it before um, or you're with someone who's done it before I don't recommend it at all always try the strap first or you can just go to a tire shop this isn't like a pinch maybe you're full wheeling off-road in a car and uh, you have to you have no other choice a little bit of ether starting fluid, brake parts cleaner, whatever. Just spray a little bit in from a distance, glasses, there you go. But yeah, this seems to be, seems to be good. <laughs> 